But when you buy a private jet and all they sit inside is gold and you sit down to show people that you are doing well, that's vanity. When we talk about false prophets, it's not about ministers who bear the title of prophet. Who. Because many people think it's those who say they are prophet A or prophet B that we will censor and choose the ones who are genuine and choose the ones who are fake. It's not about title. Anybody who preaches or leaves deception as a minister is a false prophet. Because this credential that the Bible gave there is that it said this false prophet, their job is to deceive many. So you can call yourself an apostle if there is no truth in your mouth. And if your life is fake, you are a false prophet. There are many people today who are exaggerating a lot of things that God is not saying or doing on the altar. They say they are apostles. They are also false prophets. False prophets are not only the ones who carry the title of prophets. There are many people today, they are preaching what they are not practicing. They are also false prophets. Hope you know that one of the greatest corruption that entered the church is the gospel of materialism. Many people call it the gospel of prosperity. But it's not true. Because prosperity is not wrong. Prosperity is actually holistic. Prosperity is spirit. Spirit prosperity is when you are you are drawing close to God, living under God's ordinances. Holiness is actually spirit prosperity. A state where you are dominated by God and you are not under any demonic influence. Soulish prosperity is a situation where you are mentally doing well, you are sound, and your mind can be used of God to serve his purpose. Bodily prosperity is divine health. And material prosperity is a state where God can entrust you with finances for his kingdom. So they, there's nothing wrong with prosperity. It is materialism and self-preservation that they brought into the church. And so if you find anybody teaching materialism or self-preservation, he's a false prophet. What is materialism? Everything you do is about God blessing you with something. If you are praying... It's about money. It's about good health. It's about preservation of your family. It's about breakthrough. It's about promotion. Every engagement you have with God is not about God. It's not about your growth. It's about using God to meet a material need. That is what we call materialism. And when you get that material need, you begin to live in vanity. You showcase it. So you see them carry cars. They are showcasing cars. You see them carry planes. They are showcasing planes. There's nothing wrong in having a private jet for missions. But when you buy a private jet and all they sit inside is gold and you sit down to show people that you are doing well, that's vanity. That's materialism. And so when you quote a private jet, better define what you are saying. If it is for mission, it is well, it is welcome. But if it is something that boosts your ego and makes you feel important, that's materialism. And if every engagement you carry out with God is to give you one material thing or the other, that's not the gospel of the kingdom. Please partner with us by sharing the video so we 